it picks up really nicely. Good morning and welcome to a very special video. I am actually buying a car, which is odd. Uh, you know, being the YouTube channel name, Jeff Buys Cars and all that. You'd think now that I have a couple of YouTube followers, you know, making all the big bucks, I can afford to go and buy one of my favorite cars, a Volvo 850 with low mileage and in great condition. But no, we're actually buying the highest mileage Volvo 850 T5 in the country, or at least I think it is. Correct me in the comments if you have one that's higher and it's not been on the road for two years and it's covered in moss. So let's go take a look. So it's the only 850 I've ever known to wear a bra. Um, most of the moss is on the bonnet bra, to be honest. I was making this car seem worse than it is on social media. Um, like any old Volvo, it's gonna need a little bit of paintwork. We've got to put a bit of air in the tires. Uh, but this car was used for a big Scotland road trip. Um, and it hasn't been used a great deal since because the gentleman who's selling it also has other cars, including that very cool Audi. So a little bit of air in the tires and um, we'll hopefully get this one going. Now, I did joke with my friend the other day that he would tell me the type of moss that's on the car because he's a botanist who studies moss. So I've promised that I'll send him some close-up videos of the moss that's on the car to see if he can perhaps identify some of the species that are on it. Absolutely not normal. It is LPG converted, but I'm told that the LPG conversion doesn't actually work. So maybe that's something that we can look at because if I can get the LPG working on it, then this is pretty cheap Volvo 850 motoring. My plan today is to take it for a car wash, go and get all of this cleaned off and see if we can't bring out a swan from this ugly duckling. Um, the interior, gentleman here is just moving all the rest of his car parts out of it. Like all of us, too many car parts. Um, sorry, 462,000 miles. So let's see if we can't get this up to 500,000. Leather interior, um, headlining in good condition. So yeah, next step, let's get it started. Come on. Right, 20 minutes and a drive into Bearwood later to collect a pump because that one didn't work and mine wasn't in my car. We are getting some air in the tires. So, LPG system here. It's a bit tickety, but it's no longer smoking from the back of the manifold, which is a good sign. Obviously the engine just needs to warm up and it just needs a good clean and it needs to be used. Lots of mold, but um, I'm confident we'll, we'll be all right once we get going. Here we are then viewers, first drive in the 462,205 mile Volvo 850 T5. Um, what a palaver, the car's been off the road for about 14 months. Well, that means it's been parked on the road. So the tires were completely flat and the battery is completely goosed. So the real hero of today so far is my jump pack because it's jumped this car three times so far. Um, my first impressions, this is the first time I'm jumping in it. Feels pretty solid, everything feels good. Brakes feel like they are spongy, but it's been sat for 14 months, so I'd expect that. Needs a few bits of Bob's doing, which are obvious. Most notably, it needs the bonnet bra taking off the front because it's hideous and it needs a damn good clean. But it does seem to be quite fast. It seems to have all of its power. It seems to have all of its boost. Um, so, Let's hope that it stays that way. Oh, it pulls nicely. Right, I've got major problems because I've essentially got no battery. Um, I've got no gauges. Now I've had this before in a Volvo 850 and it's always because the battery just simply hasn't got enough power. So I think the gauges will come back on. But right now I've got no fuel gauge, I've got no temperature gauge, I've got no speedo, and I've got no rev meter. I've got no display for anything. Turbo boost gauge works though, because that's operated by a vacuum and it's clearly nothing to do with the electronics on the car. Um, what we got, we've got a premium sound system, love it, tape player, um, gray interior. I think this car will clean up pretty well. 
I think the front seats are absolutely shagged. The passenger seat looks really cracked. The driver's seat is really cracked, but thankfully, I have a spare set in my shed. Um, the brakes just need, this car basically just needs to be run. I'm up for putting more, I'm up for putting a set of discs and pads on it, but I'm told that the discs on it aren't actually that old. But it doesn't do cars any favor when they're just sat around. I'm hoping as we get onto bigger roads, I can get some power in this battery and maybe the battery will come back to life. I don't think it will. I think the battery is completely knackered, so I cannot shut this car off until I get home. I do have indicators, which is good, and it feels smooth. I've got no knocks and bangs coming from the front. For 460,000 miles, this is impressive. The steering wheel's knackered. I need a new steering wheel, but again, I've got one of those in my shed. Um, so, how do I feel about my purchase? I was very, very worried when we started it up and it was smoking. Um, however, now that the engine is coming up to temperature, or at least I think it is, um, things seem do seem to be levelling out, so I think the car just needed to be used. Cars don't like... <laughs> it's fast! Yeah. That is a T5, that is. Definitely got a wobble on the steering wheel. Um, so it's definitely going to need a little bit of love and attention, but I know that. Uh, but the main thing is it does feel good. Wow, it is wobbly. I'll have to check that we don't have a loose wheel. Okay, we are on the home stretch. Yes. Um, I have some dials. Everything has come back to life. I've got 190 mile range. I've got the ABS light has come on. The traction light has come on. Um, can I turn the traction control off? No, that's the sunroof. Sunroof works. Um, so traction control light and ABS light, I believe those are both connected to an ABS sensor. I'm sure I've done that before on these Volvos. Um, the sunroof, always a risky thing. The sunroof is temperamental. So, now that the um, stress of getting it home is over, oh, should we boot it? Should we go sport mode? Sport mode. Right, let's go. Oh, it picks up really nicely. Oh, it does. Oh, stop it because I haven't closed the bonnet properly and my bonnet's going boop, 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 boop. But I've established what I needed to establish. To <laughs> That cost me 40 miles of range, apparently. Um, okay, so, feeling much better now that we're home. Uh, wobbly steering, so probably track rod ends, probably some bushes, traction control light, which is either gonna be the fact that the battery voltage is really low or it needs an ABS sensor, which they all do. Um, gearbox feels good, temperature seems okay. I think we're okay with this one, guys. 462,210 miles. I like it, I like it a lot. Yeah, let's get it cleaned up and then we can have a good look at what we've got. Right, now that the bonnet bra's off, you can see the guys here have got some work to do. Let's see if we can turn this ugly duckling into a golden egg. See what I did there? Swan, egg, ah, genius.
And there we go then, all clean. Uh, not perfect, but a whole lot better. Still a lot for me to do. Um, the wind deflectors have come off now. I need to clean beneath that. Obviously it needs a damn good clean inside. That's not been done yet. But look at the queue for the car wash today because the weather's been so bad. Um, on the whole, really enjoyed watching that come together. Uh, I've watched a fair few cars get cleaned at this place. But for some reason, this was my most enjoyable one. I think it's just because it was such an ugly duckling. And now what I'm left with really is a golden egg. I love it. Roof bars have got to come off, but I need to get the key for them off of the cellar. Uh, alternatively, I'll just use a hacksaw. But really pleased with that. It's definitely looking a whole lot better than it was. And the bonnet has come up quite nicely. There's a bit, fair bit of rust. Front wing there and on the leading edge of the bonnet here. But nothing that can't be dealt with. And I feel like this car just deserves to live. 460,000 miles. Yeah, I've got to carry it on and put some more mileage on it, haven't I? Road trip. Let's go make a cup of tea. I am freezing.